This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you an HGV driver looking for work? Head over to availlogistics.co.uk, fill out the looking for work form and get notified about jobs in your area. Don't miss out. Start your next journey with Avail today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, hopefully you're all all right. How are you doing? We are in the yard, just walking to the truck. Let's do another video. There is dash cam footage. I'll talk to you about that in a second, actually. I was gonna do a video yesterday and uh, I'll talk to you about it now. <laughs> I forgot to bring my SD cards. So I got, <laughs> I got my SD cards now. So we're gonna make a video with SD cards. And uh, yeah, we're just walking to the truck now. We had a late night last night. We didn't get back to the yard until gone half past nine at night. And uh, I was gonna get in half past uh, six this morning, nine hours off, but actually, it's actually seven o'clock. So it's half an hour later, but never mind. Never mind. Uh, right, I can see the truck. She's minging, by the way, she's well dirty. Reason being is because yesterday we went to a building site and today, this morning, we we're gonna to go to the building site as well. But yesterday it was very, very muddy indeed very muddy wait there she is lights we're going to do a 10 minute walk around check make sure everything's all right i'll show you the load let's get the card in and on other work first and you'll see my steps yeah <laughs> that was all um slushy yesterday and i always find the best thing to do is wait until it fully dries and then it's easy to clean so that's what i'm going to do but I also need to wait until I've done this uh, next delivery site this morning because it could also be muddy, so there's no point cleaning it just for it to get muddy again. But it will be clean at some point. Okay, card is in. Let me show you what we have on. Okay, so we got loaded from H&H &H yesterday. Got these breeze blocks, which are slightly different to the ones we normally do. We normally do these ones. Might be able to see a bit clearer on the other side. Maybe, let's have a look. No, it's still, uh, there's a trailer there as well, so it might not be as easy to see, but you kind of get the gist of it. That is what we are carrying, like I said, and all I know is it's going to a Red Row building site in Bristol, just off the M32, and um, never been there before. Phase three, the paperwork says, so uh, it's just a case of trying to find the right uh, access area. Yesterday I went to one, I went in the wrong access area, and I had to reverse back out onto the road, which was, Obviously not ideal. But anyway, I'm gonna do some daily checks, make sure everything's all right with the truck. The next time you see me, I'll be in the truck and probably on our way to our delivery site or just around the corner. So I'll see you in a moment with dash cam footage in Bristol. See you in a bit. Right, you joined me on the M4, trying to get onto the M32. Um, traffic has been a bit of a nightmare, which is calling in the next It's not great. But never mind, it's mean it's meant that we're gonna be later than planned. I wanted to be here for eight o'clock. Um, it's nearly twenty to nine as our current ETA. We're just stuck in traffic, there's not a lot we can do. We stuck in traffic yesterday as well. Um, they closed the M3 up near Bracknell and Lightwater and um, I was on the M3 for two hours. So it just seems like I'm not getting much of a break. That's why I finished late last night, I didn't finish half past nine. And then this morning I couldn't start to half past six. Obviously I was in just before seven. Um, so it meant we were delayed and I had to stop for get I had to stop and get some fuel this morning as well. He's not happy. <laughs> Cause of all these there's there's a long, long mile back, miles and miles of queue to get off at this junction, which I've rightfully joined, but everyone's cutting in last minute. And it's causing chaos and it's going to cause an accident. It's going to cause an accident. Right, hopefully we can start getting moving now. We are in lane one because we want to take the 4174. We're going on the M32 for a very, very short amount of time. We've just been queuing up to get onto the M32 from the slip road from the M4, which is very annoying. And we're only a mile away from where we need to be. Um, but I say that loosely because I don't actually know where we need to be. Uh, that's the interesting thing. Um, I briefly mentioned earlier, I had to go deliver to a site. This is one of the things about delivering to sites, right? Sometimes there's multiple entrances and it's not immediately clear which entrance you need to be. This one is phase three, which means it's more than likely going to be past houses. So 
it's likely that I'm going to have to go into a housing estate uh, to get to the new build. But there's also a chance that you do that and you end up going to the wrong side and then you've got to reverse all the way back out. So that is also a possibility. Hopefully, that's not going to be the case, but you never know. Ah, is it there? No, it's not there. No, it's the other side of the other thing. I just saw new builds being put up there. But we're, uh, we're on the other side. Right, getting there, we're getting there. Although we are turning left, we are then also immediately turning right at the light, so we're going to stay in the middle lane. So it throws us out into the correct lane when we get around to the left. Hopefully we can get in first time with no issues, that would be very nice. Because we are turning right here, we're going to be queuing up again. This is lots of queuing up. Oh, traffic is a nightmare. Now there is a tipper in front, so we keep an eye out on that tipper driver because they could quite well be going to the same place we are. And uh, could potentially lead us into where we've got to go. So hopefully we can get through the light the same time as he does. Be nice. I think it's blocking, blocking the lane. That line is blocking it. We're not going to be able to make this same time as the tipper, I don't think. White tipper, blue body. We're not making it. Okay, we'll have to wait. That's a shame. We're going to have to try and find the site by ourselves now then. Mm. So the trouble is, we've got to turn right, there's a bit of a traffic block, block the entrance. Obviously they're not supposed to. Doesn't mean they won't. Ah, oh, lorry's stopping. So we, should be good. we should be going now, yep. If we have to reverse back out, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare on this road, I think. Good idea to look at is the road. You see how it's all dirty on the right hand side? It's a good indication of sight traffic coming out. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it means we're going to get dirty as well. But hopefully, So I think it's here on the left. If the road suddenly changes, changes to clean afterwards. Yeah, just say construction traffic left. Okay, so and we are going left. Got to definitely go on the pavement and get around it. But there was a sign there that said construction traffic left, so. We are going to go in this way. This was the housing estate area that I was talking about. And I think we're down here, I think. Hopefully. Otherwise I'm going to be upsetting a lot of people. Van is very dirty, so that's an indication that he's just been on site.
Let's go, mate. You want? Oh, delivery. Yeah. Yeah, delivery. I can't. You want me to go down there? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like the school run is on, so people are taking the kids to school. And uh, yeah, we're literally for housing say. I think this is the area I need to be. I can't make the corner though, I can't get in the side, it's not enough space. Oh, is it not? Yeah, I can tell, yeah. Yeah, I know. You want to, uh, whoever booked it needs to speak to the people. It's up to you. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what to do. Get, yeah, I can get a tight gap. saying that it's not supposed to be for artists. I'm like, no shit. You're telling me. So I genuinely don't know how I'm getting back out yet. It might be a case of reversing all the way. Because I don't even think I can make it around that bend. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. So yeah, this is fun. Met your boy on the uh, Teleanders, not happy that I've turned up in an Arctic. <laughs> not happy at all, actually. And right now, there's a car literally right on the bend. I don't think I can. I can't even get out of the moment. So, yeah. Could be interesting, I might have to reverse all the way back out if I can't get around that bend. Right, this is the situation we have on this road. Cars on the bend. Bit tight, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Once this silver car moves, this this out, then I should be able to drive around onto the pavement and get the trailer around. Should be okay. Check down here as well. But there won't be a lot we can do about it. The question is, can we get round there? I think I'll give it a go. If not, we just have to reverse back round here a little bit. I think, I think we've got to give it a go, haven't we? That silver car's now moving, so it should be okay get around this bit. Should be right. Well, I've got to jump in the truck now anyway, because I'm going to have to move backwards and forwards. Um, as he's offloading me. Right, we are back in the truck. It is going to be interesting getting out. Another car's parked there now, look. Yeah, should really be down here, but not a lot I can do about it. It's not an awful lot. I could potentially reverse back, 
but there's a lot of cars that I squeeze between and yeah again they're all parked on corners behind me as well look. Uh, they have to go on the pavement to get past me yeah sorry don't blame me I uh, didn't arrange the delivery so just doing my job but I think we can get round but it will involve having to go on pavements both truck and trailer so could be interesting don't actually know where we're going from here yet so waiting for a phone call to find out where we're doing where we're going from here and then, uh, then we'll crack on Right, we're back on the bed. Well, I say back on the bed, I'm just up. I just sweep, swept it all up. He said I could just throw it off the side, so that's what I've done there. So, uh, yeah, just make sure nothing comes off um, when we drive off. Don't want to be damaging any other vehicles. We've got this much to do. Should be okay, look. Yeah, this much to do, let's do. We'll get that swept up in a minute as well. Right, we're empty, and now we're going to attempt to leave. Hopefully. <laughs> right, let's see if we can get out of here. Right, straight away we've already got a problem, we've got a car here. Just scraped his alloys. I mean, you could just go into that car park and space there. I know, I, I'm in the way, I know. And I do apologise. There's not an awful lot I can do. I'm well on the pavement. I'm going to have to just to get round this car. Hit go, 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 go. Cool, right. Now I need to get on this pavement now to get around these cars. Right, go over. I'm my seatbelt because I am like prepared to do a manoeuvre. Yeah, I need to get onto the pavement because I'm not making it. I need to drive on the pavement all the way around here. Otherwise, I'm not getting around the bends. part I think this bit here so we're gonna be good okay we're good we're good right so we can put the seat back on and we can indicate right and we're out yeah it's a bit it's a bit naughty for trucks to have to go down that way, but you know, what can you do? Yeah, left, clear right. Um, yeah, even if we reversed out and went out the way we came in, we would struggle because we were going round bends with cars parked either side and it would, it would risk damaging other people's property. That way, it's not ideal because we had to go on curbs and pavements to get round to even stand a chance. There was no way we would have done it without having to go on pavements. But hey ho, we're out now, that's all that matters. And uh, we can crack on with the rest of the day. We are now heading to South Cerny to get loaded with roofing tiles. I don't actually know where we're going. Um, I haven't been sent a reference yet, I've just been told to head that direction. So that is what we're gonna do. But time is getting on. Obviously, 
with a later start than normal because we finished late and been here for a while and then getting to where we've got to go now we're not going to get there until nearly 11 o'clock and then uh, it'll be nearly 12 before we even loaded so we might be able to get it is it we might not depends on where it's going some places don't take deliveries after 12 o'clock which is uh annoying but what do you do anyway i'm going to crack on and be stuck behind this sweeper for a little while see you in a little while Okay, we are now in South Surrey, waiting to be loaded. There's been a bit of a change of plan. Well, actually, no, I say there's been a change of plan. Not really, this is the plan. <laughs> uh, so we've got to load up here with uh, roofing tiles. We've got to then take it back to the yard. Trailer needs to be tested. We get, the trailers get tested regularly for like any issues. I don't know how often, it's like six weeks probably, I don't know. Might be less, might be more. But they get tested very, very frequently, all of our trailers. And it just so happens that we are based next to Swindon Trailers and uh, so it, I've got to go back to the yard with this and drop this trailer off. I then need to go take this truck to Iveca because I have an issue with the truck. You can see there, there is gaffer tape holding on the wiper blade. And it's actually the same for that one over there as well. Holding them on. Now we've put brand new wipers on, brand new wipers. And for some reason they they just fall off. Like actual Iveco wiper blades as well. And um, But they stay on, but obviously over time, the more you use them, um, they just start sliding off and then eventually they, they fall off completely. So... Um, I've had to gaffer tape them on so they don't fall off. It's alright when it's not raining, but when it's absolutely hammered down with rain and you're using it and then all of a sudden it stops working, it's pretty dangerous. So um, It's been reported and I need to go take it to Iveca to be looked at just to see whether there's anything wrong with the wipers themselves, I don't know. So that's the plan. Get loaded here, take the truck and trailer to the yard, drop the trailer, and then go to Iveco. But the issue is they've, they're only putting 10.5 tonne on. Normally they put a full load on, like 24, 25 tonne. They're only putting 10.5 tonne on, so... My boss will now have to put extra weight on the back of the trailer um, from the yard that we have, and, um, and then it can be done for a trailer test. Am I delivering this today? Probably, but I don't actually know for sure. Um, it does say on the paper that they don't take deliveries after two o'clock, but the boss seems to think they take deliveries up until four o'clock. It's fine, we'll go anyway, and if we have to night out there, we're night out there, not a problem. Um, so yeah, for now, we're waiting to be loaded. Once we're loaded, and uh, start strapping up, I will see you again, and then, then we'll drop the trailer off in the yard. Right, you joined me in Iveco. We've uh, gone back to the yard, we've dropped the trailer off. That's hopefully now going to get a trailer inspection done. I don't know how long we're going to be here for. They just said someone's going to come out in a moment and take a look, so. Um, just wait, I guess. They're going to be too long, I'm going to get something to eat. Oh no, they're looking now, look. There we go, they're looking now. Great. Right, he's taking the blades off at the moment. We'll just put them, put them back a sec. He reckons that it could potentially be Iveco daily wiper blades which kind of have the exact same length but like ever so slightly different so that could be one of the reasons so get that sorted and then back to the yard and then when we get back to the yard we've got a trans ship basically i was saying earlier i don't know if i said i got only 10 tons on my trailer well kieran got loaded yesterday with only 17 tons uh so 10 ton had 17 is 27 which is legal we can take up to 29 um so i've got a trans ship my load on top of his load go do my delivery first thing tomorrow morning i believe then his delivery, then Hamwell. So basically this video is gonna be, I think recorded tomorrow as well. So I'm gonna end it momentarily today and then start again in the morning, but I'll wait until we've done this first. Right, we are back in the yard. We're, uh, that's the trailer we're taking now, the blue one there. It's already loaded as you can see. The load we got loaded with earlier, that I don't think you've seen actually yet, um, is gonna go on top of that. So then we're gonna restrap it all up. And then tomorrow morning, go to the first delivery, unstrap it, take the top layer off, re-strap it again, and then uh, do the rest of the delivery. Now, I know what you're gonna ask, why don't you just double stack all that and put it on the front? Well, I said the same thing, <laughs> but let's not argue. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting for the trailer to be trailer tested, brake tested, and then we can go from there. There you go, that's my trailer there, look. So, that's going to come off in a moment. Well, it's going to get trailer tested. Then that's going to come off. I'll have to unstrap it. It go onto here. And then I re-strap it. And then hopefully I can go home. It's only two o'clock in the afternoon, look. So, um, lots of time left yet.
uh, once this is done, I'm probably going to go home. So I've got to see you in the morning. See you in a bit. Oh, I might even have a haircut. Okay, it is the next morning. I did get a haircut as well in the end. Sounds good. Ooh, puddle. Puddle. Um, right, so. Good morning. We are now back in the yard. Truck we got loaded yesterday. We need to get a move on because we are actually running late. My alarm decided it didn't want to go off this morning, so. That was good. We're supposed to be, well, in London for seven and it's time I leave here, it'll be half past six. <laughs> so we are running a little bit late. Right, let's do some data checks. Here we go then. We're uh, just making sure everything's right. I'm gonna go around quickly and then uh, go around again off camera and use my torch to double check things that I can't see visually. We're all hooked up, straps are on. We strapped up yesterday. So as I was saying today, annoyingly, we've got to take all the straps off of the top row stuff, except for that box on the front. So all this top row stuff, got to unstrap all that. We've got to take all the top row off and they've got to re-strap it all back up. Uh, and also the one on the very end as well, because uh, we couldn't quite get it on the top, uh, on the other side. This side would have been okay. It was on the other side. Let's check the lights while we're here. Right, we've got a side light out. Great, I'm gonna have to sort that out then before I go. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so on this side, look, they started overhanging a bit. This pallet actually ends here. So by the time we put it on here, it was overhanging up to here. It just didn't look quite right. So we just put it on the end and then uh, my box is on the end as well, so yeah. Um, right, I'm gonna have to change that bloody bulb now. Great. No. no, that's annoying me because I checked it last night and it was working. Uh. Right, anyway, next time you see me, we will be in London uh, with more dash cam footage. <laughs> i got to crack on and do this. Right, I will see you in a bit. Right, hello everyone. You join me in a very, very sunny South Hall where we are struggling to get off this roundabout because every time we get a green light, they're all queuing up right in front of us. We're going to have to start barging our way through, I think, at the moment. Because it's, they should be blocking the roundabout up. Lots of horn blasting being done. We want to go straight over. We're in the right lane to do so. Nearly had an accident there. Car just uh, decided to go round me. I was in the right lane to do that. No mind. Right. Anyway, we <laughs> very nearly had an accident there. Um, we were in the correct lane to go the way we went because obviously traffic is stopping. Other vehicles then going round you. Nightmare. Anyway, we're nearly here. We've got to turn right at this junction. <coughs> and then we have the uh, the task of unstrapping a load just to re-strap it up again, which is very annoying. That's what we've got to do. It seems quite quiet as well. Normally it's really busy, which means I might try and reverse it if I can. Right. Oh, there's 
on. Yeah, I think we should. I think we should put an eye on just to be safe. Right, let's jump outside and start unstrapping. Okay, we are in that position. Straps are now off as well, so just got to take the top layer off and the ones on the back. Easy peasy, can't go wrong. Okay, just like that, uh, we're unloaded and everything's now strapped back up. So uh, let's crack on to the second delivery. Yeah, it made sense to do that because like, it was only 10 ton for uh, for my load and it was 17 ton for Kieran. So now basically, we've done my delivery. <laughs> and uh, now we're gonna go and uh, do Kieran's delivery. Two deliveries in London made with one truck. It makes sense, it does. Right, let's get on out of here. Right, so now we wanna to go to Westerham. Westerham, which is there. BMI Westerham, this is the paperwork for them. We just got this signed, I can go down there. We are an hour away from Westerham. Hive is off, engine on. Right, so to get out of here, I've got to reverse straight back. I've done it before on camera. It's actually really quiet today. So we shouldn't have any issues. I got told off the other day, I'm sorry, going too fast backwards. <laughs> I wasn't breaking the speed limit, I was just going too fast backwards. Westerham, joining into the busy traffic again. Oh, I've got beacons on still, turn them off. Right. Lovely doubling. So I'm going to crack on and get to Westerham as quickly and safely as possible. And then once we get that tipped off, we then got to go to H&A to get loaded with uh, blocks. But I will probably end the video and do a second video for this afternoon slash tomorrow, I think. I think that's the plan. But for now, we're going to crack onto Westerham and I should see you in a little bit. We'll do a little bit of driving on the way there as well. See you in a bit. Okay, you joined me a couple of miles away from where we need to be for our second delivery of the day. And um, yeah. The road's been a little bit busy, M25 was a bit busy, particularly around Cobham, but you know, what can you do? What can you do? Um, at least it's not raining, that's the main thing, right? <laughs> it's supposed to be really wet weather this week, but it's actually turned out quite nice, which is pretty good. Anyway, um, when we get to this place, normally what you do is you pull up, and you wait for a green light, then you drive on in, then you want a strap, and then, um, go around and they offload you and then you then you head back out. But what I might do, just because I feel like it, is I might unstrap before I even go in. Um, now I know what you're thinking, oh you can't do that. <laughs> you can. This particular place uh, is all off public road so um, it's not an issue but normally when you load here you get loaded then they, you've got to go out and then you sort of strap up in a designated strapping area. That's where I'm thinking about unstrapping in that designated area so um well we'll see when we get there if it's full up then i'll just crack on in anyway but should be okay um and then from here i believe we're still going to Selcon h and h it hasn't actually been confirmed but i'm pretty sure it will i'll send the boss a message once we actually get here when we're strapped um i believe we're loading for somewhere near birmingham but i i think it'll probably be off tomorrow now i'm not sure I'm not sure i should have started an hour earlier today my alarm didn't go off, so that might be, it might be, uh, but I might come back to haunt me, <laughs> I don't know, let's <laughs> wait and see, these things happen, these things happen, left, there's now a hot food van there, Oh, 
the lorry coming out, so I'm just going to sit by the set. Give them room. And now we go on in. Yeah, that lay-by wasn't very... Uh, well, I said I stayed in it, I didn't. That's the point. It, it was so uneven and bumpy, and I was just like leaning into the ditch sort of thing where I sleep, so I was almost upside down. I decided to move, and I actually parked up here instead on this road. Come down here, spun round, and, and sort of stayed somewhere around here. There was enough room to get another lorry past, so I thought, well, that'll do. That'll do, donkey. Right, so this is what I'm saying. Where that truck is there on the right hand side, that's the designated strapping area. That red truck coming out now is probably going to park in behind me, if I were to guess. I might just park up on the left here, quickly up strap. Yeah, that Marshall's truck is indeed pulling in, as I expected. Or should I just drive in? I might Quite okay, and there we go. Oh, that window looks, the mirror looks dirty from here. In real life, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> uh, there we are, we're getting offloaded now. And uh, yeah, got to sit on the bunk. I can't sit on the bed because I've got power adapter there and bag. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a bit over the place because obviously we had to do a transship and change loads and load other stuff and deliver other stuff that we didn't have to do originally but then we did but hey ho whatever we got it all done we got the work done and um, i'm gonna tackle on with today and get the rest of the deliveries made if possible but that's gonna be it for today's video so thank you very much for watching do appreciate it hope you enjoyed it thank you very much for watching until next time drive safe stay safe and hi we'll see you soon thanks for watching bye